How is everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with a 2015-2016 NBA roster breakdown. Today we are using the San Antonio Spurs. Basically, in these roster breakdowns, I'm just going to be analyzing each player of a specific team. Today we're doing the San Antonio Spurs. So without further ado, let's get on into it. We're going to be starting at the point guard position, work our way all the way up to the center. And right now we're starting off with Tony Parker, a uh, 33-year-old, 6 foot 285 pound beast from the from France and uh, actually part of the tandem of him Ginobili and Tim Duncan has brought San Antonio four championships uh, from 2003 uh, to present day uh, which is when they first won the championship in 2003 at least um, those three right there uh, the big three of, of Tim Duncan Ginobili and, and uh, Tony Parker they actually won the Spurs the organization itself actually won a championship a couple years earlier but going on to Tony Parker his stats actually aren't as glamorous as I would personally would expect you know I've known Tony Parker I've seen him play for a long time, but for some reason I've always thought he had these MVP type stats. He really doesn't, but he's been, he's had such a crazy impact on the Spurs. He's been so clutch in so many situations and has uh, had such a great playmaking ability for the Spurs for such a long time that it makes sense why they have four championships with that big three of Ginobili, Duncan, and Tony Parker. He's just a really good player, and I think sometimes people don't realize how good of a player he is. Either way, we're gonna go on to our, our next point guard right here, Patty Mills. Uh, me personally, I've always thought Patty Mills was a three-point specialist. I may be wrong because I might not have observed him as long as some San Antonio Spurs fans have. But I thought he was a. I think he's a really good three-point shooter. I think he has some playmaking ability to it. To him, uh, also can has uh, can add some passing as well. But I've also I've always kind of thought that he's just a a big boy uh, three-point shooter. You know, he can just nail it from the downtown, uh, get a lot of points from behind the arc. That's all. That's what I've always thought when I think of Patty Mills. But you know, there may be more to him than what I personally think. Maybe he's a better passer than I think, but that's as far as my knowledge personally goes and my analysis of Patty Mills goes uh, in terms of a player on the San Antonio Spurs. As we move on to Ray McCollum. Now, I actually did a little bit of research about Ray McCollum. I kind of watched some film of him uh, and looked up some games of him. And actually, he's a pretty good player. I think he's newly acquired for the San Antonio Spurs. If we look at his uh, history, I think I passed it, but uh, I think this is gonna be his first year, maybe his third, uh, or maybe his second year. Uh, I didn't know if he played last year, but a uh, really good player, actually very good at driving to the lane and made some great plays when I watched him. I think he has a lot of potential. As we look at the sh shooting guard position right here, Manu Ginobili, and this guy has been a, a beast for the Spurs for the longest of time. You see 14 years pro, uh, I think he came in like one year after uh, uh, Tony Parker, uh, but still a beast nonetheless. This guy is ridiculous driving to the lane, I and mean, he, he made some crazy acrobatic finishes when he was playing uh, young when he was younger in his career but nowadays he's been able to develop a three-point shot uh, not even so recent that he, he wasn't even he actually already had a three-point shot but it seems like nowadays it's easier for him to uh, go to that because it's harder for him to drive because of the fact that he's 38 years old but this dude is a freak I mean don't let the numbers fool you I know it's only like 15 10 15 per, uh, points per game but I mean, this guy has made some big time buckets for the San Antonio Spurs, and you see his assists are actually up there too. Great passer at six six, uh, can also like uh, drive to the rack and shoot out range, shoot out, uh, shoot out in the perimeter, and a great defender as well. Uh, very underrated player in terms of his steal stealing abilities. Look at Danny Green right here. Uh, this guy's kind of younger than the other guys, 28 years old, uh, still been in the league for a little bit, seven years. Uh, but uh, also a great three-point shooter. Uh, another thing the San Antonio Spurs have had go go going their way, uh, they were able to utilize him to the fullest, the best of their ability in the finals against the Heat. If I'm not mistaken, he was one of the players. I think he was the one of the San Antonio Spurs who actually broke a record for like three-point shooting in a NBA Finals or, or something along those lines. Can't recall exactly what it was, but definitely an excellent perimeter shooter and good finisher at the uh, driving to the lane as well. As look at Jimmer for dead. Now, Jimmer for dead. I mean, he really has had a pretty quiet NBA career. He was really uh, well known coming out of college because of the fact that he had that crazy Jimmer range in the NCAA March Madness and was able to hit uh, three pointers from like way behind the arc. But really hasn't been able to uh, explode on the NBA scene. And if anybody can make him explode on the NBA scene, it's Greg Popovich in the sport in the Spurs organization, man. I'm a huge Oklahoma City Thunder fan. I love the Oklahoma City Thunder, but I think the Spurs, I mean, people know how uh, well-known that organization is and how good they are at developing players and making them the best they can be, man. So, Jimmy Fredette, I think the sky's the limit for him, man. He has some great shooting potential, and he could really become, I mean, you think the Spurs are good now? I mean, if they could develop some of these guys, I mean, oh my God. I don't even want to think about it. But Kawhi Leonard at the small forward position right here, 6'7", 225 pound, 
beast, dude. Kawhi Leonard is such a good player, in my personal opinion. Uh, I think part of the reason why I like him is because of the fact that I saw him defend LeBron James with no fear, and he was able to stop him like a lot in the NBA Finals, and people don't realize how good of a player Kawhi Leonard is, I think. I think people know him, but the fact that he was able to play against LeBron James and stop him is something I think people kind of overlook at times, because he was able to stop him at, 20, at 24, years of, 24 years of age, a pretty young dude, and his length at 6'7 is awesome. Uh, very good athletic finisher also, and a well, well known to be a, a great defender. Let's look at Kyle Anderson right here, D-League player, now on the team. I was kind of looking up at some of the stuff that this guy did as well. Uh, this guy's kind of known as being kind of an interesting player. 6'9", 230 pound frame, 22, 22 years of age from the University of California at Los Angeles. But his 6'9 frame, don't let that fool you. He's actually a really good ball handler. I think he was actually a uh, point guard basically when he was younger, but um, definitely developed into a small forward. Let's look at Jonathan Simmons right here. You got, I went out to look at Jonathan uh, Simmons' highlights in his tape. He was known for being a, a great finisher at the at the lane uh, and a great driving to the rack. At least that's what I've seen so far. But he has thus a potential that he could uh, explode on the NBA scene. On the NBA scene with as look at Lamarcus Aldridge, a huge offseason acquisition. This guy is a ridiculous inside a post score. Also with the post fade ability and the mid range shot. You can even shoot a three if you really wanted to. 6'11", 240. Uh, you see he was picked in the second. Uh, he was the second overall pick. I think that was the 2008 NBA draft, if I'm not mistaken. And the fact that the Spurs were able to get Lamarcus Aldridge is insane. I mean, he had, he he adds a little bit of youth. I know it's hard. It's weird to say the word youth when you see a 30 year old on the screen. But when you have a guy like Tim Duncan, who's your biggest uh, who's your biggest star at the uh, kind of the, one of the, one of your big men basically, who's a big star at the big man uh, role. Uh, you need to have another guy there. You know, LaMarcus Aldridge, 6'11", will take care of that, man. He's eight years younger than Tim Duncan, roughly, I think. I mean, he might be nine, but you see his stats, man. 20 points a game. That's a, I mean, he's 6'11". It's not, you got to think about how are you going to score when you're 6'11"? Are you going to shoot it uh, from the out perimeter or are you going to shoot it inside? I mean, he's been a ridiculous inside scorer and also can rebound and uh, even shoot the perimeter shot for the three-point land if he really wanted to. As we get David West, speaking of inside scoring, this guy is a master at that post fadeaway and mid range game. I mean, the, the the way that the Spurs have been able to get players on their team is just insane. David West is getting up there in his age. You, th you see 35, but the, the age hasn't slowed down Tim Duncan or Jermaine Ginobili, so why should it slow down David David West? As you see right here, points per game. You see, he's actually been up there at 20 at one point in his New Orleans time. Uh, good rebound numbers as well. Very good offensive player. Uh, so just that, that just adds more to the weapons that the Spurs have at their disposal for this NBA season upcoming 2015-2016. Very exciting for the San Antonio Spurs fans, but I really am not looking forward to playing the Spurs this year as a Thunder fan. As look at Matt Bonner, for me, purely a three-point specialist. Really haven't seen him do anything else too crazy. Is look at the numbers. And he's really coming off the bench for just the three-point uh, ability that he has. Uh, nothing to, like... Uh, uh, criticize Matt Bonner on but I mean that is what he is there for I think people know that 6'10 235 pound I think it's a little bit difficult to contest that but a uh, very good option right there a skilled face up four you see right there is what they uh, call him as in Tim Duncan my personal opinion this guy is the best power forward of all time you can look at the numbers I mean two time MVP five time NBA champion four time 14 time NBA all-star are you kidding me the first team all NBA 10 times I mean, I'm a huge Oklahoma City Thunder fan, like I said previously, but this guy, in my opinion, there's no doubt this guy's the best power forward of all time. I mean, he could score 20 points a game early in his career, and he's 6'11", 255. I mean, it's not easy to do that. And you see the rebound numbers early in his career, too. He's averaging a double-double his rookie year. A double-double his rookie year. And he's playing against guys that are way more experienced than him. And that his field goal percentage, I mean, there's so little you can, I mean, his first overall pick, he's kind of like the Peyton Manning, except uh, Peyton Manning slash Tom Brady of uh, NBA. I mean, he wins championships, MVP awards, everything. Uh, he's just an absolutely beast player, man. His inside scoring ability in the post is ridiculous. Pretty much unmatched, in my opinion, uh, at least in the modern era, for sure. That's like a Boris Diaw right here, who also has the ability to shoot the three ball. Um, and as well as rebounding, six foot eight, two hundred fifty pound. I remember him on this on the Phoenix Suns being a pretty effective player. Uh, now on the San Antonio Spurs, and definitely offers pretty good option for them in terms of being a, a face up type player who can actually shoot the jump shot as well as rebound. He's become kind of a more of a physical threat in terms of rebounding. I feel like he's improved on that as well as his scoring ability. 
uh, which is really impressive for the San Antonio Spurs and their play, type of player development. You see most improved player. I think at one point he wasn't as good as he is now, obviously. Uh, but uh, definitely getting up there in, in his age at 33. It's kind of crazy how good the Spurs have been with the age factor that they've gone in. And, and uh, Boban, I don't know how you say his last name, but 7'4", 293 pounds. I looked a little bit at uh, highlights of this guy. And the fact that this guy has the opportunity to learn from Marcus Aldridge and Tim Duncan is absolutely insane. So much time to develop. So the San Antonio Spurs roster is, uh, is stacked, to say the least. Uh, but hopefully, I think they are going to have a great season. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content on Madden, NBA 2K, and Seahawks information. So once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And yep, thanks for watching.